Hello guys, it's me again and I'm going to give you like small tips when you're going to buy a new guitar and some of them that uh, some common mistakes that everybody do it I did some of them and some of them I recovered it some of them it was too late So I was just trying to share it with you and maybe you will not fall in the same mistakes like me so one of the Common mistakes that every one of us has his own guitar is that we love him like when we want to be like him He's our like role model in the guitar and then you go and buy his signature model of guitar this is totally one of the big mistakes that we all do because his signature model his custom is just basically made for him on his body size on his uh, arm side the way of his playing his style his standing is there's a lot of not just like uh, it's the best equipment for this kind of music no it's about how he's playing actually so if you don't have the same features like him you will not feel that comfortable like him still it can be really good for you and you can really enjoy it but it doesn't mean if you're going to play, for example, for Dream Theater, so you go to buy John Petrucci guitar so you can play for Dream Theater. No, you can buy John Petrucci guitar even if you don't play for Dream Theater. They are really good guitars, actually. I have one of them, even I don't play that much for Dream Theater. Uh, but And I know a lot of people, they play for Dream Theater, but they are not comfortable with John Petrucci signature model guitars, especially if you're going for Sterling by Music Man, which is like... The affordable version or the cheap version but John Petrucci love to say it in the affordable way not that cheap way or like the second degree is a second class guitar uh, yeah so don't go for the signature model for your favorite guitarist this is one of the biggest mistakes you can go but don't go blindly you need to try the guitar and you feel yes it's fit for you not because this guitarist is playing by it so it will fit for you this is point number one <clears throat> Second point, which is really important, when you go to check the reviews for the guitars on the internet, for example, there is millions of reviews for each guitar. Don't buy by these videos, actually. Simply, you can hear the sound, but this is not the sound you will get, because simply, you don't have the same amplifier, you don't have the same speakers, you don't have the same effects, so maybe you will not get the same sound, maybe we can get better, maybe we can get worse, but this is not the sound that you will get from the... You, when you buy the guitar, the same as the video you saw it in the YouTube from the some of the from the some of the reviews they put. So you need to be aware that you will not fall in that point. You can just hear a comparison, so you can have an idea between like two guitars. This sounds this guitar sounds more higher, can be more aggressive, can be more fatty. For example, you can compare two sounds, but you need to know that these two guitars in your home equipment you. You will notice the same difference, but you will not have the same sound as you see on the on the reviews video. Because, for example, if I use Boogie Master uh, tube amplifier head, and then I have like uh, two speakers, like twelve inch, and then you can just have like a simple amplifier, like one solid amplifier with eight inch speaker, you will never get the same sound. So you hear me reviewing a guitar, you go to buy the guitar, and then you don't get the same sound. So don't fall in this trick because a lot of people do that uh, and then don't go just f the third point don't go, don't think that when you pay more you get better no you like for example there are some guitars they are really expensive but they are not worth that money by this money i can get another guitar which is totally much 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 better or i can get the same quality by this guitar by almost half price so <clears throat> actually i would say signature guitars they are somehow over budget because uh, the guitarist who make the, put the signature and all this the it and this brand's name they took money from your money you pay for the guitar just for the signature and for the brand name uh, but not for the guitar itself but actually these unknown uh, brands and unsigned guitars or models they are somehow you pay for the price of the equipment you buy not for the signature and for example for the label of the brand uh, still i'm not saying that signature models are not good i i have one of them so just don't think that because it's signature model it worth that money no it actually as a guitar it will worth almost half of the money but you pay the second half of the money on the signature and on the label so just be aware of that uh, i think this is the 
first points that came to my mind that a lot of people doing this mistake when they buy new guitars so i would like just to share my comments about it and even when i do some reviews for guitar just get the idea about the guitar from my review but don't expect you'll get the same sound when i say it sound wow it sound wow by my equipment not in your equipment maybe for your equipment there is another guitar is better for your equipment or you need to choose also equipment get the same equipment like me get everything like me and then you can have the same sound which is nobody doing that so you need to check everything carefully a little bit and don't get impressed by the reviews in the youtube you can just use it as a guide or as a help for you but don't depend on it and the best thing when you go to buy a guitar for example if you have an amplifier you have your own uh, pedal board or you have your own multi effect the digital one and you're going to buy a new guitar take your equipment go to the big guitar shop that they have a lot of varieties make your homework before you go you check your price the models a little bit of the specs online so you have like five guitars in your mind go there spend like with each guitar spend one hour playing and listening to yourself from your equipment take some pictures for you how the guitar is fitting you if you want to know how to choose your new guitar you can watch the other video that you will find the link below how to choose your guitar by the Rolls 3 plus one it can give you some hints how to choose your guitar but this one for the tricks that we fall when you're going to buy a new guitar uh, go there and the, go to the shop that you're going to sell to buy your guitar get you like your amplifier your equipment spend like five six hours trying the guitars and then you choose someone that you'll hear it it gives you a good quality not from the youtube it gives you a good quality i uh, hope this video get, gets some you some tips and see you in another quick or long videos Ciao.